Underdog Fantasy is the best and easiest place to play fantasy sports and their pick'em game. Sign up now with code Poodle and you'll double your first deposit up to $100 in bonus cash when you make your first deposit of $10 or more. It's simple. Deposit $100, get $100 free. Good luck and have fun. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 24 franchise mode video. And today I'm going to be going over the fastest ways to get franchise staff in Madden 24 franchise. And before we get into the video, guys, if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and also make sure to head on down below and check out Underdog Fantasy if you have not already. If you use code Poodle, the link will be down below in the description. You can match your first deposit up until $100. Good luck. So what is franchise staff? Franchise staff is that green thing at the top of the screen next to Frank Reich, next to coach, next to 53 out of 50. You'll see upgrade available next to it. Franchise staff is essentially you upgrade your coaches. Now, something that's been underrated is the idea of actually maxing out your coaches. Now, before we get into all of this, there's two ways to go. You can create a custom coach. You can use a current coach. A current coach is a little bit more advantageous because you actually start off with some of these uh, coaching things and franchise staff built in. But if you're going to start with a fresh new coach, this is a super important video for you. So why is this important? Head on down to manage staff and go to franchise staff. This is essentially the whole area for this. And this goes a long way in team development and everything else. You have view talent tree on each of them. You have an offensive coordinator, a D coordinator, a head coach, and you have player personnel. Why are these all important? If you go to view talent tree, you're going to notice that you have all these untapped boxes. Now, if you're Andy Reid, you're Bill Belichick, uh, you know, you're any of those good coaches, this isn't going to really be a problem for you. But if you are a brand new coach, it will be even with Frank, right? Because you see, I'm missing a lot of stuff here. So staff modifications, offensive development, defensive development, and so on and so forth. You have all these different buckets and tiers. Now, you might not realize there's some kind of intricate, there's some intricacies to why you need to do this very strategically. And I'm going to get into that now. So first and foremost, if you go over to offensive development, you see here that you get XP gains for this one. So two-way tight end. If you unlock the first one here, by the way, you have to do this in order. So to unlock this one, you'd have to buy, you'd have to buy the first one in a tree. And then once you buy the first one in a tree, you can actually go ahead and continue down. So you have to do them in order. One thing to note though, is the ones that are zero out of three, you don't have to do those technically in order. You can do just buy the one out of three one, the first tier, and then keep going down. So if you want to get to one of the bigger ones, which some of the more uh, important ones or big ones are all the way at the bottom, you can just upgrade one at a time, get all the way down there and then go backtrack and max them all out. So keep that in mind as well. So what's important here is you can only go in one direction. So let's just say you buy this tight end one. You just locked up this entire side right here, these two. So make sure that you read each one before you head on over to the next set of abilities. So here you go. XP gains for wide receivers, XP gains for tight ends. And then over here, you have XP gains for right guards, and XP gains for left guards. I will make an entire video going over the best routes for all these. So I'm not going to get all, all into that today, but I'm trying to show you the importance of why franchise staff matters. So what matters here is that this costs 30 for one tier. It costs 90 for three of them. There are settings, by the way, in the settings features of the league where you can like make franchise staff cheaper, make it more expensive. You can increase how you get them. But for all intents and purposes, we're going with the generic settings here. Uh, but why it's important is XP gains up to 10% for wide receiver. And I believe up to 15% when you get the third tier is so important. That pretty much means you're going to build a player. You're going to pretty much skip a season or two worth of development if you play 10 years based on just this extra gains. And all the way down to the big ones, which is fountain of youth, slow ratings regressions, all the way down to unlocking a player's hidden development trait right away at the start of the season. So all these require a lot of franchise points. So you're going to need them. How do you get them? Great question. Select game day goal. People skip these. I've been seeing people for years skip these and just let them automate. Why it's a problem if they automate is see all these have different ones. So win by 17 points in a game. These are all supposed to be set before you're the game you play. Keep that in mind. So if you plan on winning by a big margin, you're playing the worst users in the league, you're playing a bad team, take the 10, take the guaranteed 10 franchise staff. That is easy money right there. But what happens is when you simulate these and like you just don't do them, it might give you the win the turnover battle. And then you're playing a stat pad game where you end up throwing five picks. You don't get that one. It might give you 15 plus first downs. Not a hard one to get, but it's only four points. You might get no sacks allowed. You take a lot of sacks. You don't care. You're up by 40. You're going, you're trying to air the ball out. You're going to take a sack right there alone. You lost the eight. Go for something simple. Win by 17 points in an easy blowout game should be simple enough. Five offensive touchdowns, quite honestly, online is usually pretty easy. I mean, two rushing, three passing, not hard. Uh, 450 offensive yards is a bit harder. So, I mean, five touchdowns might be even easier than that. 
no sacks allowed, I feel like it's pretty hard, even if you're a good user. That could just happen just because it happened. You know, you can't really control that sometimes. Allow under 200 on an online game could be super hard. So just make sure you're setting these easy. I would probably go with these top two, one of these top three, really. Uh, or first downs, if you're like a pretty bad user, you just want to get something conservative and easy to go. So right there alone, let's say you set it to that. That's 10 per week. Offensive coordinator again, 200 offensive yards for two, kind of horrible. I'd probably stick anywhere from 300 and above. Again, if you plan on playing a bad user, go for the 400. You're playing a mid-tier user, uh, go for the 300. You're playing a great user, maybe you go for the 250. But again, I would say anywhere from 350 is a safe range, usually maybe 300. So right there, you're looking at 16 per week. The defensive one's a lot harder. Uh, 10 points or less is super hard, no matter who you play. The freak accidents happen. People score. It is Madden. Uh, I usually stick to anywhere between 30 and 24 or less. It's not exactly the easiest thing to always hold people to a lot of less points. So let's just go three. So you're at 16 plus three you're at 19 then there's a weekly game plan two passing touchdowns or plus is a pretty safe one 200 rushing yards is a bit harder i usually like to go for the 350 uh, passing yard if you're a rush you can go for five rushing touchdowns which is pretty hard i would probably do anywhere from you know one interception is pretty safe but two passing touchdowns for me or three 350 so let's just call it four that's 24 extra uh 23 extra franchise staff points per per week just for setting these up so that pretty much means you get one free upgrade every week and that doesn't include other ways you get stuff, right? That doesn't include other ways you get franchise staff. But make sure you're setting these and make them reasonable. Again, some people just put the, like the craziest ones, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So if you don't hit on any of those, you're looking at zero for a week. You do not want to risk that. So let's just say you set it up to 24 for all pretty manageable ones. And you do that all three preseason games. Or let's say you skip the preseason, you do it seven. Let's go 17 reg season games. That's 17 times 23. And you end up with 391 franchise points per season which could pretty much max out an entire tree probably a little bit more depending on how you're doing the accrual rates for this so make sure you're doing that another way to get them is through scenarios so one of the ones you will see every year week one is your season goal make sure you set that if you set it like conservative you're going to get no franchise staff you set it high you will but you could get fired i usually like to just do make playoffs right? i usually make the playoffs you set it to that's the extra 20 you get at the end of the season some extra stuff you also will get goals throughout the year like a coaching goal like play a rival uh you know no expectations or you say that you plan on winning this game or that co we you know we coached our way to victory and you'll get an extra 15 20 30 40 50 so as long as you do all those you're looking anywhere between 400 to 600 franchise staff over the course of every season but on the on the flip side someone who lets them simulate ends up only getting like a 8 to 10 accrual every week only ends up with about approximately 136 so anywhere between 400 and 600 well 391 is the guaranteed so 136 versus 391 if you do the extra like scenarios you're looking at only about two 200 a little bit over if you do nothing you just let them simulate if you get lucky too versus a guy who's getting 400 600 so you'll be maxing your coach out at a four times speed three to four times than everyone else that is so important um people usually like oh i don't care the players matter it does not if you go through franchise staff you will see some of those coaching upgrades are important they help you think they help you do things easier unlocking a players of dev trait earlier allows you to get more xp allows you to get abilities on them makes them more useful it gives you xp bonuses so let's just say it takes you two seasons to get all those xp bonuses because you just don't care you've wasted two seasons which puts all your players all your rookies significantly behind every other user in the league you want to get a head start on that whether you pick a coach or you create a coach but that's pretty much the fastest ways to go ahead go ahead and get that is just focusing on it i know it's time consuming they added a lot of stuff that could be a time drag before a game it takes no joke like less than 30 seconds to a minute to set them and if you have them preset you kind of just go in and just alter them when you need to if it's going to be a running game it's going to be a passing game make sure you're doing that it's a pretty quick video there's not much else to it it's more it's more so people just don't look in this area ever and another thing to note by the way is that you can get into this from any angle of franchise staff here you can just click anywhere you can click on any of these talent trees you'll get in there you could also fire one if you wanted to and go pick up a better one like if you see uh someone created a custom coach and it got bill belichick fired or it got andy reed fired you can go ahead and actually uh fire one of these your coach or you are the coach in this situation so if you were the gm you could fire the coach and do it that way if you're a coach you can fire your coordinators and go pick up a new coordinator which actually helps you get some earlier traits already built in and the other way to get to this area if you don't know how you can click y on that screen as well but the other easy way is when you're doing your weekly strategy, if you go in here, you'll actually see a prompt at some point in here to go do that. So right over here at the end where you see focus player screen and start training, if you click on weekly game plan, it's to change the game plan, but it actually takes you into the entire 
weekly goal selection screen you could change from here so usually what i do is i do my training and i finish off there so it's all compiled in one place it might seem separated but if you do it this way it's all compiled make sure you set this up this between this and properly watching that video i give you to dev your players the quickest you're looking at a foolproof way to really just get ahead of the competition with building your squad but that pretty much wraps up today's video if you guys have any questions about franchise staff or anything to add leave it down below in the comments give this video a big thumbs up like the video comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace